Wow, well, we've made it to the end of ISE 2023, and my goodness, what a show. I think we all knew it was going to be a busy one, but I think this year has really just gone to another level. How do you think it stacks up, you know, compared to last year? I don't think you can accurately compare it to last year, because that was like a soft opening, wasn't it, where it was primarily European visitors, uh, coming along here because there were less restrictions. Similarly, on the exhibitor side, because of supply chain issues and things getting back to normal again slowly, there was very little new products on offer. So everyone's been making up for lost time this year. I think it's like a continuation of where we left off three, maybe four years ago, where suddenly everyone's got something to show, something to say, and that's why we're, our legs are feeling it because we've had to cram in four years worth of stagnation into uh, four days. I mean, I've been really impressed with the amount of Middle East visitors that they've been here. It means that I can catch up with people beyond just the products and the manufacturers and, and have some meaningful conversations. Well, the geography's changed but for sure because it's in Barcelona now. Compared to Amsterdam, there were much more visitors from Northern Europe before, from Scandinavia, from Germany, yeah. from Benelux, from UK. Now it's down here, you're seeing a different gravitas, you're seeing a lot more Mediterranean, Italians and Spanish primarily. Also Latin America, yeah. and obviously the APAC as well. A lot of people come in, the only people who haven't come to this show from APAC, perhaps China, it's just opened up. A little a few problems with visas and Japan, and not seen many Japanese visitors as well. We've had conflicting reports from people, haven't we, in terms of the type of visitor that they've been seeing. So I've had a few companies that said, we're seeing loads of end users this year compared to just integrators. And you very much got uh, the opposite message. Absolutely. It's all been about distributors. Collaborations is the main word now. And so many manufacturers have been questioning why are we exhibit in here when we're just talking to other manufacturers to come up with a solution. And don't you feel that this is the point of this show now? And we've talked about it for years, but mainly now is the penny has dropped. It's about the solution. It's not about the product or your brand. It's where you fit into the application. I mean, I think we'd agree. I mean, in terms of product, it certainly hasn't been, uh, you know, rare on the ground, has it? There were a number of quite significant launches and, you know, as you say, back again to how we used to be. Last year, it was... When we talked about this at the time, it was a networking show basically, wasn't it? All we did was chat to people that we hadn't spoken to for a year and a half, two years. This year, products on the booth are everywhere. Um, my challenge has been that you still want to do that good networking component and there's just not enough time. I always <laughs> compare this to speed dating. Uh, maybe I shouldn't, <laughs> but when you're going from hall eight to hall two or wherever you're going from, and you've got 30 minute meetings, that's 10 minutes of your, of your meeting gone there. And then the next 20 minutes, you've got to focus on what's been shown. There's a couple of tricks you do pick up after a few days to get around the place a bit quicker, cutting off up around outside, avoiding this central thoroughfare. But probably, surely, from the audio perspective, the biggest addition to this show is those demo rooms, right? And, and the great offerings that they've got down there. If we're going to talk about you know, any disadvantages, negatives here, it would be that they have got to think about opening up another exit entrance point. Oh, at, yeah. at Without this, a doubt. This, this is the common the, frustration yeah. for everybody. Yeah. That bottleneck of the main entrance, the East Hall, is a problem. It's not well maintained in terms of security. You need a physical badge? No, you need a digital badge. You need a physical badge. This is ridiculous and it's a huge queue for the poor visitors. It was taking an hour to get in on the first two days. Yeah, at least, yeah. And I mean, the one that we brought it up last year, I think, didn't we as well? Just at the end of each day, the, the taxis, the taxi yeah. situation. But I mean, you know, I know that's not necessarily the show's fault, but it doesn't help. Well, the city of Barcelona sold itself to ISC as being good for transportation. They've done free transport passes for four days for offices, that's great. But the Metro, that's the busiest, most congested packed Metro I've ever been in. It was slightly uncomfortable. They were both things that we highlighted last year as the problem, and neither of them, much progress doesn't seem to have been made on either of them. So hopefully next year, that, that will be a focus. Yeah, because in general, 
everybody's really happy with this show. Oh, absolutely, um, there's a really, the buzz. It's a beat, yes. resurgent, there's a real yeah. energy to this. Yeah. There is, I've yeah. just compared it to someone before about with Frankfurt. These, at the end of an exhausting Frankfurt four or five day show, they didn't matter because they'd seen everybody, they got the sales orders, they could see the future ahead, they were really happy. And I'm finding that with this show now. But what you were just saying there about Frankfurt, I mean, again, you could look at the lighting element, you know, which was always very much, you know, pro light and sound sort of, you know, forte. And now we're going to have a dedicated hall next year opening up for those lighting companies, aren't we? I think one of the other things that's come out of this show is that, you know, for the past few years we've been living in Zoom rooms, you know, and it's just been, you know, we've had enough. It's, it's, we want to get out, don't we? And I think you found this with some of the conversations you've been having with, with manufacturers, haven't you? Yeah, but they're doing big business. I mean, the whole of Hall 2 is like a big UC conferencing magnet for the main brands. Uh, and then beyond that, you've still got your Biamps, Sennheiser, Shaw, QSIS. I mean, everyone's in that space. And they continue to do huge business with corporates. Everyone knows how to use it. We live in a hybrid world now. But yeah, I think most visitors are happy to come here, touch, feel, see, hug and get out of that room just for a little while before they go back to it. So that's all from us from Barcelona. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage. Adios.